<laughs> well, here we are again. Follow me to Apex, my friends. Reaper Hunter 23 here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Valhalla Cyberpunk Bartending Action. Oh man. Alright, so it has been a solid week since I've played this game. At least I didn't get locked up this time. Add songs by clicking, um... Alright. Wait, so hold on, add songs by... Sorry, I don't know why I just went silent there. You can swap, you can remove them by right clicking their title. Oh. Alright, so I'm just gonna kind of just uh, take some stuff off at random and add some other stuff. Uh, Neo Avatar? Those who dwell in shadows? Nighttime maneuvers? Synth Stitch? Good enough for me. Let's go. Okay, back in action. This, this is a robot. Sweet. Good evening. Good evening. Um, would you mind taking your helmet off? Oh, sorry. It's so comfortable I usually forget I have it on. Ooh, you look cool. Is this better? Yeah, thank you. What can I get you, miss? Master Specialist Sai P. Azagiri of the Seven Valkyrie Court. Or why don't why did I get tripped up on seven hundred and sixty-five? That was dumb, and I don't know why that's what stopped me dead in my tracks. I can count high numbers. Seven hundred and sixty-fifth Division Valkyrie Corps at core at your service. Wait, that's too long. Just call me Psy. Well, what can I get for you, Psy? Let's see, I'm in the mood for a sweet drink. Oh, but not sweet as in cool. Although a cool drink would be nice too, but not cool as in great and especially, and not especially as in big. Oh. More so I have to get up early and can't afford a hangover. Did you get that? A sweet drink, preferably a cold one that's not too big. I can do that, just give me a second. Alright. Buy a flavor. Sweet. Sugar rush. That should be easy enough. Hmm. Huh. Are these all just a hundred and whatever? I'm just gonna go with the first one that I chose here. There we go. Here. Um. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. I forgot the ice. Well, don't, we don't get many white knights as clients. I can only remember one other in, in fact. You said you were from the Valkyrie Corps, right? Are you the guys who deal with riots and such? Riots. Oh, no, no, no. You're thinking of the Blitzkrieg or <laughs> Oh, man. Blitzkrieg. The ones with plated suits, right? Yeah, those. No, we're different people. I mean, obviously we're different people, but we don't deal with riots or anything. That would be a little exciting, though. You could say we do- Oh, you're the cleanup crew? <laughs> How so? To rescue, heal, and protect, we are the angels who soothe the suffering enemy attack. Oh, those suffering enemy attack. We are the light of hope in the darkest of times, and the ones who assist the victims of crime. We watch, we protect. That was a really cool creed. Sorry, it's sort of our pledge of allegiance we recited every morning. What it means is that our duties mostly include rescuing severely... I said the word civilians, or I tried to say it really weird. 
healing the injured and protecting them from stuff. What kind of stuff? Burglars, car crashes, anything that might happen on our watch. And you mentioned heal? Are you a doctor then? Nah, I know many doctors, but I'm not one. I'm more of a paramedic. I treat people so they can arrive safely at a doctor. <laughs> you see, a doctor helps people that are dying. A medic just makes you more comfortable while you die. Remind me never to get injured on your watch. <laughs> I'm also kind of like a firefighter that I sometimes rescue people from places. Man, that must be a tough job. Sort of, but it's also really rewarding. I mean, I've yet to meet somebody that isn't glad to see me when I arrive. <laughs> oh, I love this song in particular. You must have seen some shocking sights. Yeah, this one time when I was saving some people from the top of a collapsing building. I looked down and, I, and was blown away by how pretty the city was. It was like a starry sky on Earth. Are we not actually on Earth? Is this just some other place? I guess I should figure as much since this is the weird cyberpunky time, but what do I know? I'm sure that will come up later. Oh, there was this time we were cleaning up the aftermath of a car crash. Water was pouring out of a hydrant. With the lights and scattered pieces of glass, it was almost dreamlike. But that's not what I meant by shocking sights. No, but those are sights, and they're shocking, right? Yeah, but never mind. She wanted more, like, gruesome details, I think. Wait, did I miss hear and you actually mean size? Sai? Isn't that your name? I mean, sure. I suffered the deepest, longest, and most frustrated sighs after- <laughs> Oh, okay, that was good. Pardon me one minute while I open my drink. Oh god, my Dr. Pepper tried to fizz over. Don't worry, you didn't miss here. I guess I was just expecting a different kind of answer. What kind of answer? Don't worry too much about it. You just finish your drink. Can I get you anything else? Hmm, something classy. A classy drink. Can you be more specific? Don't make it too big. Does that work? Sorry, I don't come to bars very often. My drinks usually come in a can. No problem. Don't worry. Classy drink. Let's see what I can find for you. Alright, let's see here. By type. Classy. Brand teeny. That sounds... That seems a little big. We'll try a different one. Uh, Cobalt Velvet sounds exciting. Also seems a little more than what I should give her. Oops. Mercury Blast? Alright, so nine camo dreams when that's the alcohol content is probably not the best thing to give someone who doesn't want to hang over. So that one's out too. I think I'm just going to go with my original plan of brand teeny. Eight out of ten smug tool, ba tool bags would recommend it, but they're too busy being smug tool bags. That's funny. We'll give her ice in this one. Oh, all aged and mixed. And aged, I guess. Two, three, four, five, six. Wait, was that wrong? One. I am silly and it can't count. I started counting. Uh, yeah, I definitely started counting like two into my thing. Because six was right there. God. Can't get, got stuck on 765, and then I couldn't count to 6. Ice and age. Let's go. Am I not allowed to put it in ice? Alright, fine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, age. 1, Two, three. 
There we go. Here you are. Yep, this looks like something Stella would drink. Who? She's my dearest friend. Not that I have, I, not that I don't have others, but she's the one I've known the longest. All right, back to trying to open my drink again. Ah, it didn't fizz over on me this time. She likes these kind of drinks, so I wanted to see what's so special about them. And what do you think? I was expecting something stronger. I like it quite a bit. Say, Miss Bartender, what's your name? Hmm? You know my name. Now I want to know yours. Oh, sure. Just call me Jill. Jill. Hmm. Jill. Jill is short for Jillian? No, that's not right. Jillian. Julianne? Do not call me Julianne, please. <sighs> Sorry about that. No, please excuse me. I didn't want to anger you. This... Uh, okay, I like Bartender Lady. Jill is cool. This lady's cool, too. The only character I haven't really been cool with so far is the tool bag from last time that had the red hair. But why don't you like being called by your full name? That's a stupid reason. Don't throw, dwell on, too much on that. One sip of Dr. Pepper and suddenly I'm all burpy and stuff. It's stupid. Oh, okay. I still feel bad about angering you, though. Why? Because you look like a nice girl, Jill, and I don't like angering nice people. If it helps, I... Ah! I really like this place. You're the first person to say something nice today. Thanks. One second, please. All right, I fixed it, kind of. I just needed to close a window real quick. What do you like about it? The smell of dog urine and soap. <laughs> All right, so I, so playing Doki Doki Literature Club before this, the, the exclamation point at the end just made me imagine Sayori's happy sprite there. Mom used to be a veterinarian, and I used to go to her clinic after school, so its smell takes me back. It makes me feel comfy and nostalgic. Ahem. What made you want to become a white knight instead of a veterinarian or anything else? Well, I was never a good student, so studying medicine of any kind was out of the question. That aside, it's mostly because of something that happened while I was a kid. A white knight attacked my friend and was coming for me when this other white knight saved us. I don't remember what happened next, I just woke up in a hospital with my friend watching over me. I mean, it wasn't a prophetic moment or anything like that, but ever since then, I, was felt, I always felt this was my calling. That I wanted to help people the same way they helped me. Huh. It's interesting, though. One would think being attacked by a white knight would make you run the opposite direction. Yeah, but it was another one that saved me. So I could just kind of self, er, I kind of guide myself toward judging every thing on an individual basis. Well, not to an extremist extent, but you know, but you get me. Yeah, I try to do the same too. Why join the Valkyrie Corps specifically, though? Well, that one seems like the most helpful. Because I wanted to rescue people from dire situations whenever possible. I say it seems like the most helpful when I don't know what the other divisions actually are. Look at me being silly. And going into patrols and all that felt too tiresome. It's also the one with the least paperwork involved. There you go. Now that I think about it, there are different kinds of white knights, right? I guess white knight is too broad a term. There's not one specific type, there are many different classes. Rescue, assault, there's even a squad full of bureaucrats. Like what, military police from Attack on Titan? That's what I was 
that was the show I was looking for. Really? Yeah, they get assigned to companies to handle accounting and that kind of stuff. People usually ask for them because they speed up the processes. But a few are assigned when a company is suspected of having weird under-the-table deals. Interesting. There was also a squad dedicated to fighting school bullying. Oh, they were doing a nice job, but the fad of the anti-bullying campaigns passed and they went, oh, well that sucks. But I do believe that that is probably some kind of accurate commentary. I believe some members still work with the anti-bullying cases in an, in an unofficial capacity. That'd be nice, I think. Can you get? Can I get you anything else? I don't know if I should. I can't afford that many drinks, and besides, I don't really know how much alcohol I can handle. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, you know that, what? I'll have something else. I remember a drink called a martini. Brand teeny. That's what I just gave you. No, I'm pretty sure it's martini. It's brand teeny. Trust me, I'll get you one. She wants a mar. I'm sorry, brand teeny. All right. <clears throat> I gave her that already, though. I guess I'll give her another. So, I wonder, does the results of... Besides maybe a little bit of flavor text, like when I gave the dude a suplex instead of a pile driver last time, do the results of how they act, are they affected dramatically by this, or is it just a little bit of stuff when I decide to give them whatever? There we go, brand teeny. Here, see? Huh, you were right. Thanks. You know what, I think I'll bring a friend of mine here. Uh, I think I'll bring a friend of mine here in a couple of days. Really? Why? I like the feel of this place and I want to share it with her. It might be a bit difficult though, she's more into, um, classier places. Not that, not that that place, or that this place isn't nice, but, but... Don't worry, I know the kind of place I work in. I see. But it shouldn't be too bad, I just need to... What was that? What was that? <laughs> Look at me go, predicting the future. Sounded like an explosion? I'd better check that. I paid you already, right? Yeah, go ahead, be careful. I will. She left her helmet. Well, if she's coming back, I'll just hold it for her. Gil, I'll go check what that, what the, I'll go check what that explosion was. Careful. What? Oh, she woke up. Where am I? Where am I? Good evening and welcome to Valhalla. That might have not been the best thing to say, considering, hopefully she doesn't know Norse mythology. Valhalla? Am I dead? Does that mean that Uncle Ignis' ramblings about the afterlife are looking like a shoddy downtown bar are true? <laughs> That's funny. Called it. <laughs> afterlife? I'm not dead. As far as I can tell, no. <laughs> to be fair, I don't know how death or the afterlife work exactly, but you're breathing, right? Alright, then where am I? How did I get here? Who brought me here? What were you planning to do with me? Pretty sure we were just gonna leave you here until you woke up. Are you organ traffickers? Robbers? Pickpockets? Your pickpockets are. Why would we need to bring you into the bar to pickpocket you when you were unconscious? You would be stuck in. The, you would have been left in the alleyway. Why aren't you saying anything? I'm just waiting for you to venture worries, otherwise, you'll just. Oh no. <laughs> no, I promise. Jesus! You were already unconscious! Uh, 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 okay. Murder, 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 murder. Interrupt me. <laughs> Well, this is going nowhere. Let's see if I can get a drink to calm her down. Or throw at her face. Okay, let's see here. Bottle of drinks, maybe? If 
by type. Let's see, girly drinks. Uh, we'll try a different girly drink here. We'll try Fluffy Dream. All aged. 